Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to load the Arduino Liquid Crystal Display Library. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to drop this void setup down a touch. Uh, and it's as simple as going to uh, Sketch. So you go here to Sketch, drop this guy out, and then go to Include Library, and drop down here, and you can see Liquid Crystal. So click on that and it will provide you with everything you need. So you got include liquid crystal. You can see that these are different um, brackets there than we've normally used. Uh, and you'll also notice that there is no semicolon required on this line here. Okay, so below what we'll do is we'll make a comment here that this include this loads the Arduino, come on, Arduino liquid crystal Beautiful. Okay, so everything's already like set up for your liquid crystal display. Okay, next thing we need to do below is we need to do an instruction. So we need to put in uh, capital L I Q U I D liquid, uh, sorry, not dot, but crystal. So capital C. Okay, looks good. Uh, and then you're going to put in your global variable. So I'm just going to put in LCD. So that's my global variable that I'm creating. Uh, the next thing we need to do is put in the pins that are associated with a number of different things on our LCD screen. So the first one is the RS. So I've got that wired up to pin number 12. Uh, and if you haven't gone through the wiring for this LCD, uh, there is a link below for the previous video on how to wire this guy up. So the RS is the first one we need. I have it wired up to pin number 12. The next one is the E or the enable. I have that wired up to pin number 11. And then we have uh, DB4 through DB7. So I have five, four, three, two, close the brackets, beautiful. And again, I don't believe there is a, uh, a semicolon required here. Okay, so this line here, come on, Pete. So all we really did there was we uh, created the global variable LCD, uh, and we and we set up all the pins for our LCD display. In that we have uh, first one is the RS, the E, then DB4 through DB7. Okay, so, you know, maybe we'll put that uh, below here. So let's drop this down one line here, and let's put that information here. So below we can see that this guy right here is the RS. Then the next thing we're doing is the E. Then we're doing DB4, then DB5, DB6. Beautiful. And DB7. Nice. Looks good. Okay, so I believe that's everything that we need. Yeah, that's good, right? Then below we have our void setup. So we'll just delete a few lines to give ourselves a little bit more to work with. So the void setup, remember that this only runs once. So within here, we just need to put in uh, this declaration right here. So we've got LCD. That's our uh, main global variable that we created right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say lcd.begin. And we have to tell it that we have like the size of your actual display. So the next thing to put in would be brackets and we'll put 16 by 2. Beautiful. And then on this line we will need a semicolon. So this line that we've just done tells the Arduino that your display has 16 columns and two rows. Beautiful. Okay, again, we're just going to double check that our parentheses are closed there, and that's all we need for the void setup. So up here we've um, we've 
loaded the liquid crystal display library then we've started off liquid crystal we've created a global variable named lcd and then we've put in the pins for rs e db4 db5 db6 and db7 corresponding to the way that you've wired it uh, then in the void setup uh, we're starting the lcd and we're telling it that it is 16 columns and two rows Beautiful. Next thing we need is the void loop. So remember that the void loop just runs continuously. So in the void loop, we're going to first tell it where to write on that LCD. So we're going to put an LCD, that's our global variable from above, and we're going to put set cursor. The C is capitalized here. And as soon as we put in set cursor, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put um, brackets zero, zero then close the brackets, then our semicolon there. So at that point, uh, the first one, the first zero here corresponds to the column, and the second corresponds to the row. Uh, remember that all of the numbering starts at zero and goes through to 16. So we're starting off here in the zero column and in the zero row. So the first column and the first row. Okay, we'll put a comment below. Uh, so what does this do? This uh, starts the characters on the LCD display at the top left corner. And we can just put in there as well that just some information here that um, this first when this first zero that we've put in is the column, and the next one is the row. Beautiful. Okay, once we've set the, the cursor there, uh, then we're going to print something. So we're going to put LCD dot print, and then we'll put brackets here, and then in quotations, we'll put whatever we would like to print. So I'm going to put in Arduino. And that'll, that's the only thing that I'm going to have on that first line there. I'll close the brackets there, put in my semicolon. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to put in a delay. And I'm going to put in a delay of a second and a half. Okay, semicolon after that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the cursor again. So I'm going to say uh, LCD dot set cursor. And I'm going to go on to the zero column, uh, but then I'm going to go on to the second row. Second row would be a one, right? Because everything starts at zero. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm just setting it um, on the the first co the first column there, but I could change this. But you could also put in uh, just spaces as well. So you'll see on the next line here where I do LCD print. I'm going to actually create a, I'm going to put this in quotes first, and but I'll create a space, uh, two spaces actually, we'll see how that looks. And then I'll put LCD tutorial. I believe that is going to um, center it on that, on that 16 uh, bits on the line, right? Because here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then leaving another two spaces at the end there. So that'll give us our 16 bits there. Beautiful, okay? I need a semicolon there. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a delay again. This one I'm gonna have an extended delay of two seconds. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I wanna clear the screen. So I'm gonna put in LCD dot clear. So everything's pretty intuitive, right? Like here we're doing set the cursor, then we're doing print, right? Set the cursor again, print again, after a delay, then clear the screen, okay? Once you do that, you need to put this in just brackets there, and then semicolon, and then I'm gonna create a delay of three seconds before it loops back up to the top and starts everything over again. Excellent. Okay, it's nice that everything fit all on one page here. Uh, let us verify this and see that everything is cool. 
Okay, so it looks like I've made expecting uh, a semicolon. So I've missed something there. What have I missed there? So it says it's looking for a semicolon before the void. So before this guy, I need a semicolon. These are just um, statements. So right there, I was mistaken. That guy mustn't need a semicolon there. Okay, let's verify it again. Ah, yes, beautiful. Okay, let's download this to our screen and see how it looks. Okay, so let's upload this to our Arduino. There we go, beautiful. And so here you can see that we've got uh, Arduino coming in, then two and a half seconds later, LCD tutorial, and then it clears the screen. Waits for three seconds and then starts all over again. So that's that void loop continuously going through that loop with each of the sequential delays. And you can see here that the LCD tutorial is actually centered. I got two spaces and another two spaces on the other side. And it looks nice. All right, guys, that's pretty good. So now we've got the basics on how to set up our LCD display. And we've gone through all the wiring on the previous video. And now we've gone through the actual coding. So uh, we've included the library. So the library gives us everything that we require. Uh, then we set up our liquid crystal. We created uh, the LCD global variable. We put in our wiring for the RS, the E, and then DB through D DB7. So DB4 through DB7. Uh, then below in the void setup, we began the LCD and we said it was a 16 by 2, 16 columns and two rows on the display. And then in the void loop, uh, the first thing we did was we set the cursor to 0, 0, which was the first column and the first row, and we put in Arduino. Okay, then after a second and a half, we set the cursor to the first column in the second row, so 0, 1, and then we put in two spaces here and we put in LCD tutorial. Waited for another two seconds and then put a clear, so it cleared the actual display, and then we waited three seconds to start up at the top and again at 0, 0 to print in Arduino. All right, guys, hopefully everything worked out for you. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.